Hello and welcome to the grand final preview. I'm here with Premiership winning former Bulldog Andrew Ryan and South Sydney hero and now um, avid club supporter Mario Fennec. It's a great grand final this weekend, a massive game between the Rabbitohs and Bulldogs. Start with you, Andrew. It's a huge match, one of the biggest ones the game would have ever seen. Oh, absolutely. You know, you look at the Rabbitohs, the history and, and the supporter base and, and just the, the excitement around the people that the Rabbitohs are in the grand final. And then the Bulldogs, they uh, basically a month ago were, were no real chance to make the grand final. And, and have managed to get on a little bit of a roll and it's going to be a huge week. Both the, both the fan bases are absolutely going crazy this week and really embracing the week. Well, they're two very passionate clubs and, and no one knows passion more than Mario. Um, Muzz, what will it mean to the South Sydney fans for the Rabbitohs to be holding up that Premiership trophy? Oh, unbelievable. Uh, I get it rubbed into my face all the time. 43 years it's been since we've won a competition and uh, the great thing about it is South have, have gone through ups and downs in their a long history and uh, bad times too, and uh, and it's great to see they're back on track. Uh, you know, the, the pride of the league once uh, they make a grand final. Look at the excitement that's been built. Uh, us and Bulldogs will be a wonderful contest and uh, uh, a lot of colour, be a lot of excitement and uh, fast in your seatbelts. I think the grand final will be a fantastic game of footy. Well, Bobcat, um, you know what it's like to win a premiership. In 2004, you were there holding up the trophy. What was that experience like in front of over 32,000 fans? Oh, look, it was it was something that I'll never forget. It's it's why you know every player plays to to, to run out on grand final day, and then for myself, that my first day as captain to, to be able to hold up the trophy, it was it, it was just a pinch yourself moment, you know. And um, a young kid grow, growing up in Dubbo, I was a Bulldogs fan as a kid, and then um, even get an opportunity to play one NRL game. Uh, and then to, to win the Premiership it was an, an extremely special moment and to have uh, my family along for the day and, and by the time we got back and saw them at the Leagues Club it was a really special moment. There has been a little disappointment um, in Bulldogs camp though. They're going to lose Michael Ennis who's their captain for this week um, with a couple of fractures in his foot. That's a loss for the team but also disappointing for Michael being his last game for the Bulldogs. Yeah, crushing blow f f for Mick and obviously his family and his teammates and the club as well. But um, yeah, it's, it's just quite unbelievable how things like that happen in rugby league, you know. You live and ride the roller coaster, the ups and downs, and, and for him to not get to play in this grand final when it was going to be his last game is, 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 a, is a really bit of pill for him to swallow. But um, I'm sure that he'll, he'll support his teammates all week if he's not going to be able to play, um, and, and, and they'll go out and try and do a job for him to, to make him feel uh, like he's a massive part of their club for, for Sunday. And talking replacements, is there someone there that's going to be able to fill the gap? Yeah, they're sort of talking a few at the moment. Randy Matua has been there, he played in the Premiership 10 years ago. Uh, Moses Zambai is a young guy who can play in some different positions. Damien Cook is a, who's a, a, a youngish guy as well who's had some experience around that hooker role. But it'll be interesting to see how they go. Des is obviously going to keep his, his cards pretty close to his chest and, until the team sheet gets handed over on Sunday afternoon. So. Um, but, but I think any of those options, I, I think they'll be in a pretty good place. We're well, going in as the underdogs, that's just the way Coach Des Hasler likes it. On the other hand, Mario, you guys are going as, in as the favourites, but um, you've also lost your hooker, Isaac Luke, which is a big loss. That is a big blow for us, and uh, Isaac's been part of the squad for a number of years now, and, and an integral part of the squad too, so that is a big blow for us. But uh, young Appy uh, Corosia will come in, uh, he's played there before, he's a very good athlete, quite a good competitor, and. Uh, good defender, so he'll uh, hopefully fill the void. Uh, and uh, like Michael McGuire said, he didn't dwell too much on it. We've just got to move on. Well, there's no doubt you'll be expecting a South Sydney win, but what are you predicting in terms of the scoreline? You know what, being a past player is, uh, I'm very nervous and very cautious. And uh, I know one thing that uh, we've given, the, we give the Bulldogs a lot of respect. They're a team that really turn up and they've got a good coach in Des Hasler. We've won nothing yet. I guarantee you uh, when the whistle blows, uh, they'll be ready and prepared to the best of their ability. And uh, Andrew, what are your predictions for the final scoreline there? Yeah, look, I'll, I'll have, to, have to go with the Bulldogs win. I think, um, I think they've, they've stepped up in the big games. You know, on the flip side though, the Rabbitohs uh, were absolutely outstanding last week. And the game against the Roosters, they, it was just a full-on contest. So I think the Bulldogs will have to, honestly, think they'll have to improve a lot from last week. And I'm sure they know that as well. But, I think they can get home in a very tight one. Well, there's no doubt it'll be a blockbuster match. We hope you've enjoyed our finals previews and we hope you enjoy the grand final even more. Go South Sydney.
43 years. What about that little one thrown in at the end? Yeah. 43 years. <laughs> hey. 43 years. <laughs> You've got a feel for us, mate. I wish I knew that one. Wish I knew that one.